This time on James's hobby desk, we have the hatchet from Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion. Day on the desk, I have the Inox hatchet from Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion. And as with the other figures from the set, I've started by cleaning the mould lines, priming with Mechanica standard grey spray paint, and then applying a Zenith spray of Corrin, just to emphasise the details and show where the highlights would be on the model. Getting started, I'm using Jacaro Orange from Citadel and watering down slightly on my palette, applying this all over the cloak and the hat. Let's make these uh, early uh, base colours don't have to be too neat. I'm not worrying that I'm getting a little on the river here. It's just a case of getting it on quickly and evenly and as this is thinned I'm going to end up putting on a couple of thin coats just to get decent coverage and a good tone. So I'm now going to use Towsept Okra. This is one of the old Citadel paint range colours. The modern equivalent is Baylor Brown, I believe. And I've thinned this slightly again and I'm applying it to the areas of the coat inside the cloak and also to the figure's boots. Now I'm just going to start going back and forward between the Jacaro Orange and Towsept Ochre and apply second coats where needed to areas of the cloak and the boots and the coats. I also decide at this point that I'm going to use the Jacaro Orange on the trousers so I fill in those areas as well. Next I'm using Steel Legion Drab and painting the inside areas of the cloak, all the various greeblies and details, uh, handles and so on uh, around the belt and his hands and I will also use this for the quiver on his back the various straps and uh, 
the belt itself. For details such as the strap on the quiver and the belt, it's simply a case of thinning the paper down slightly and ensuring that there is a good tip on the brush to get a neat result. Otherwise, it's just care and patience. Um, I, I'm still using the same size one brush rather than a narrower one. The body of the brush holds plenty of paint for what I need here. For the horns, I'm using Xandri Dust from Citadel. Again, just uh, thinned down slightly on my wet palette and being careful around uh, the edges of. Uh, where the horns meet the hat at this point. But of course, any slight errors are easy enough to uh, fix later. That is the joy of painting. You can always paint over. I'm now using Storm Vermin Fur for the fur or skin of the Inox and just uh, applying that in as best I can to all those areas. Uh, at this point I've darkened my uh, Dracaro orange slightly with some Steel Legion drab and I'm just using that to go under the rim of the hat. So that is somewhat darker and shadowed. And then continuing with the uh, Inox's arms and hands. For the uh, handles sticking out of the quiver here, I'm just using Xandri Dust again. So I'm using Citadel's Retributor Armour, it's nice gold to pick out the brooch and the various buttons on the cloak. Just uh, making sure there's even coverage on each of those. And now swapping to uh, a Citadel Grey Knight Steel, which is a lovely blue steel colour. And I'm using this for all the axe blades, and there are plenty of those on the hatchet. And I pick out the belt buckle in this colour as well. In retrospect, maybe I could have done the buttons and the brooch the same colour, but uh, in, the, in the end it doesn't really matter. It's just... With the base colours uh, all completed, I'm now going to apply an all-over wash of Agrax Earthshade. And really coming in quite heavily with this to begin with, uh, making sure that there is 
good coverage and once I've got it applied then cleaning off the brush and uh, just letting capillary action pick out anywhere where it has uh, sort of pulled too deeply so that uh, it's reasonably even while shading the recesses but uh, not leaving anything too dark or badly tied marked. Having let the wash dry, I'm now going to pick out a few slight highlights. So, going back to uh, Jacaro Orange to highlight the rim of the hat and the shoulders of the cloak, and basically any prominent areas that are showing up. And on the horns using Zandri dust again uh, both to highlight and just the slight implication of texture as well I'm now using the crag blue just to pick out the band round his hat and this gives a nice accent color and is going to match the colors I use on the base and also his character token. So for the base, nice even layering of Macrag Blue. Um, and again, this is liable to take a couple of thin coats to tidy up all the mess that uh, has been made up until this point. And with the McCrag blue dry, now come in with Calgar blue and just apply a rough circular highlight area slightly off center and emphasize that more towards the middle and feather out the edges. The Calgar blue is going to dry a little bit darker than it's applying, but even so I decide to mix about a one-to-one -one mix of Macrag blue and Calgar blue just to soften up the edges a little further. As a final touch, I apply a tiny highlight of the Calgar blue to the hat band, and then it's a simple case of uh, applying a matte black around the rim of the base so that the figure will really pop when it's on the board. Thank you for watching James's Hobby Desk. If you've liked this video, please tick the like button and subscribe for more videos coming soon.